Hey guys, how are you doing? All right, well, today we have another grammar curriculum flip through. I think I did a grammar one last week. I don't even remember. I should keep track. But anyway, kind of helps if I show you what I'm talking about. We are going to flip through Michael Clay Thompson's grammar curriculum program called Grammar Town. Now, this is the start of the level two series in his language arts program. Okay. And we are going to go through both of these. They are the same. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to put you on a little game. When you're buying curriculum from a publisher that puts out a lot of different versions or editions, and whether you should buy the newest and latest or just fall back and get something used. I'm going to show you one or two things that publishers do to kind of make it look like you're getting something entirely different when, in fact, you ain't. All right. That's not a knock on Michael Clay Thompson. It's not a knock, but just an awareness. All right. So um, this is a flip through, which means I'm not doing a review, although I kind of sprinkle, you know, y'all know I go off on tangents. I do a little bit of a review kind of in the middle, but it's really just to go coast to coast so you can get the most information when you're trying to buy this curriculum. Now, y'all don't click off just yet or don't fast forward. I am finding that I have a lot of people around the country and out of the country, they can get their hands on curriculum. And when they order something, it's very expensive. So they really have to make an informed decision. And so seeing every single page really helps them decide if something is for them or not, okay? So when I go through these, if it's too slow for you, just fast forward this. But just know that if you're blessed to have a homeschool bookstore nearby or other homeschool moms or co-ops or just other um, places where you can go get your hands on a copy of something, you are privileged, okay? So, all right, so let's flip the camera and get going with our flip through. All right, guys, so we're on a we're on a little bit of a Michael Clay Thompson roll because I just finished doing a flip through on Caesar's English. Now I have Grammar Town. Now, why do I have two books in front of me? I want to show you something. Okay. Now I had three kids who did who went through Grammar Town. And I bought different editions. And then I realized when I actually sat down and looked through the books, they were identical. Now this one is edition what edition is this one second edition 2010 okay second edition it says student manual it says student manual this is everybody's manual second edition oh this doesn't really say here yeah second edition 2010 but they have now this says student manual this is not a teacher manual yeah, this is not a teacher manual. So I just want to alert you, if you're into the Michael Clay Thompson um, language arts program, he changes the covers on a lot of his books, but he doesn't change the material inside. So one thing, so one con I don't like about the program because um, sometimes you get confused. Oh my God, I have the wrong edition. Everything's going to be different. And it's not. That's why I'm showing you both. Okay, so I'm all about changing book covers. You know, I'm an author and, you know, I'll probably I'll probably change my book cover in a couple of years just to change things up. But when it comes to education, see, it says student manual and this. OK, I don't want to go into a review. That's not why we're here. So I'm just going to focus on this so-called student manual and shout out to Michael Clay Thompson. But, bro. All right. Grammar Town. This is the level two series in his um, language arts program. It comes after Grammar Island. See, we're now in the town. All right. November 2010. And this one, I just can't help it, y'all. I got to show you. Is, he didn't put the, the actual month. And he doesn't have to. All right. So just, just know that whatever book you have, more than likely, it's the same as any other book. All right, so we'll start flipping through. Let me give you my little spiel, and then I will cue the music, okay? This is our grammar 
curriculum flip through from Michael Clay Thompson. And this is just to flip through. I just sprinkle a little bit of commentary. Sometimes I don't, depending on how thick the book is. And this book is not thick, so I might just not talk anymore. But after I say this. Um, with the flip through, um, we go from the front cover and we flip through all the way to the back cover. We are not skipping a single page. Why? Because there are people around the country, around the world, that cannot get to a bookstore a homeschool bookstore or they don't have friends or a charter or they don't have a destination to go to to flip through a book or there's no homeschool convention for them to go to to check out um curriculum and shout out to all the homeschool moms who do put you know flip throughs online but a lot of times they just really like just flip through which is what you really do right a flip through is like hmm. but for us we need a thorough, comprehensive flip through to see every to see every page because every page, in a lot of instances, it matters. Okay. I had one subscriber say, "Oh, I think writing and rhetoric has a lot of religious overtones in it." Um, that's what people have been telling me. What do you think? I said, "Well, you know, let me do a flip through." Actually, that was the one reason. That was one of the reasons why I started doing these comprehensive flip throughs because once she saw all of the pages she was able to make a decision oh is this too much of a religious overtone or this is not as much as what people were saying because she saw every page not just one chapter here and one chapter there okay so that's the beauty of showing every single page and if it's too long you can always just fast forward you know you know adjust the speed you know double time but at least you have that option okay i always want to give you an option rather than leave you out in the rain with no umbrella or shoes and an empty stomach that's no way to live no way to live okay so i show you every page so with that said it is not a curriculum review i do comprehensive curriculum reviews they are so long i know some of y'all think it's too long but my motto is i'd rather you have enough too much than not enough all right and you have my children to thank for that <laughs> because they're always like mom it's too much no 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 i don't need you calling me at the last minute so people will go to my kids because they know my kids will have anything that is needed <laughs> like you know your mom is a prepper she's got everything um so if you would like a comprehensive curriculum review i do have a playlist you can check that out and i do have a playlist of all of these flip throughs and i got a lot more coming y'all we're just getting started i know i said march madness uh, for reviews for flip throughs excuse me but i got so much curriculum and some of it i haven't used i just i saw maybe one chapter or one concept that i liked and i bought the book just for that and then never touched it again okay and then I was victim of a, of hype of, you know, a certain curriculum, bought it, so, uh, and then I forgot about it and was too lazy to return it and get my money back. Y'all don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Now, the thing with Michael Clay Thompson, his language arts program is literature-based, meaning he teaches through story. If you haven't gathered that by now by story and if you watch my flip through on grammar island you will see how similar this is so if you're using the program it is a nice seamless transition from level one to level two okay now once you get into like word within the word i think or like middle school totally different i mean it's still literature based and classical but is different okay <gasps> he wrote in this book I'm gonna get him <laughs> five years later all right I'm just funny with y'all I need to go live because you guys have been asking me so many questions about these flip throughs. 
I just need to go live and then you guys can just talk to me. I prefer lives. I prefer answering questions, chopping it up with you guys. And if I don't know something, I'll find out. But I am not too proud to say, I don't know, baby, but let me find out. Okay. But I like lives. Y'all need to come on the lives with me. We'll have so much fun. So much fun. I love the watercolors. I need to find out who the who the artist is who does this. I'm sure it's at the beginning of the book. But I like that. And I'm not a big person on watercolors if it's not like on the cover of a romance book. But in this case, I like it. And we are nearing the end, ladies and gent. Or gentlemen. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay. And a little recap here. Yeah, but you can still see that. Okay. And there you go. That is the end of Grammar, um, grammar Town, where you go over the parts of the sentence, phrases, parts of speech, and clauses, just like you did in Grammar Island. So, are we digging this, Grammar Town? I think it's a wonderful grammar program. Love it. But I would like to know what you guys think about this program. And just know that um, I have more Michael Clay Thompson uh, flip-throughs um, coming up. I have, I got Grammar Voyage coming up next. And I think we're within the, I got, I got more, more stuff coming up, but I hope you like that. If you want more flip throughs or if you want curriculum rev reviews, there's somewhere around here on the screen. I want you to check those out. Also, if there's something you would like for me to review or flip through, leave a comment um, down below. Okay. Let me know. And um, if I have it, I'll make it happen. If it seems really interesting and I don't have it, I will eventually get my hands on it and do something about it and show it to you guys also um thank you so much for sticking with me um all the way through um the video i love you guys talk to you later bye bye bye, -bye.